Hey folks, Father Ryan Gaming here, and welcome back to another episode of this Wessex campaign in Crusader Kings 2. So, last time we uh, finished up the wars that we had going on here with Devon uh, and Gloucestershire, um, realised that my brother hates me because, um, well, he just does. He absolutely despises me because um, he actually has a claim to the kingdom. So, um, we probably need to see him disappear. He does not have very good intrigue, um, so I think it's possible to make him disappear. Meanwhile, we're still stuck trying to fight over this. Um, right, so who can we actually declare war on? you so we declare war on you for East Anglia East Anglia Essex Cornwall no, no more up here we go to you. Troop number a lot more than I do. Yeah, I'd never get it finished. Don't think. Man, yep. So, there's not much likely gonna happen or come from that there. So, we're gonna have to look to our troops. We can we actually cannot raise any troops, six men from our vassals. So, we are gonna have to <laughs> revoke them. Someone else does have to join, so we're gonna do it. No one. Nope. Um. No. Nope. So the only other way to expand would be through this. Click that button there and that button. Nope. No one with no one looking to it. Who do we want? Um, Invite him to our court, and we're going to land him. I'm going to land him. Um, yep, we're going to give him Devon.
So, if we attack you, so he actually does own all this. Um, allies, Iron of Devon. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so no one's gonna join me. If his allies joined him, what's his purse like? Nah, not much bigger than my own. Actually, mine's actually bigger. Um, can march in and if we can defeat the armies. bigger than what it told me. Um so we're gonna have to find Possibly we could do it. Probably not, no. I'm have to find another 200 troops somewhere. Father was called King Fatherland the Great. He is King Fatherland of Wessex, and the next one is called Fatherland Fatherlandsome. Genius! I think we need to kill my my little my little brother. Side. So it's gonna look like we're gonna have to resort back to the mercenaries. Dismiss the mercenaries. Shouldn't be too bad. Actually, I'm still making money until next month. So, are some birds darting nimbly through the air? You find yourself wondering why is it that man cannot do the same? There have been unsuccessful attempts to make flying contraptions in the past, but clearly those designs are all conceived by fools. Building a machine that can fly will help improve your learning. I'm sure it can be done. I'm pretty sure it can be done, yeah. So, we're going in here to fight this battle. Has increased his army. Oh, brilliant. Has called in King of South Clyde and So, um, get 
get organizer, unpredictable leader, and yielding. See if he would accept a white piece. Oh, he's not going to accept the white piece now. So, the prototype of your flying machine is near completion, but it would probably be ill advised to pilot the thing yourself on its maiden flight. Fortunately, you know of several promising candidates, you'd probably be persuaded to take this historic leap of faith on your side. On your behalf, sorry. So, Otis, the cook's overweight son, Maldrick, the local dung gather and dog's boy, dog's body, dog willing to the place. Um, yep, Maldrick sounds legit. Um, you find a suitably steep cliff from which to launch the maiden flight from your flying machine. Michael Halley says, but after a combination of threats and John, he agrees to be strapped into the contraption. You push him over the cliff with hope of the best. He plummets down <laughs> like a sack of stones, chilling debris. So, I run down to the wreckage. Bruising ballot for life, your flying machine was a failure. To make matters worse, another scholar in the place that leads made its own functioning prototype. Thus, as you're about to surrender to spur, Maldrick gives you a toothless man. I will get this blood here. Dismiss the man. Yep. Go on. How, how he did it will forever remain a mystery, but Meldrick has managed to steal the rival scholar flying machine. He gleefully brings it to the cliff, but his grin vanishes when you inform him he will be flying again. Went over the cliff and Meldrick enters brief sparring dive before slamming into the ground. Okay. So he didn't actually gain any learning out of that at all, I don't think. There we go. Sorry about that wee break there. Um, so we did just actually gain our two learning there. Um, dangerous action. <laughs> so obviously my brother is going to lead this. Just be a tyrant of prison, everyone. Um, this isn't going to go too good. Have a daughter. So the king of Denmark is planning to invade. <laughs> In two years' time, Berlin. <laughs> so, we can plan invasion coming from. So, we just implemented seniority by succession. Brilliant. Um.
actually prefer but the other boy that um, became the Ur. I don't know if it's going to last any longer than two years' time. So, um, titles are about to leave my family. My coffers are empty, but the church is rich. Yes. I just want to see what he would do. Oh, pity that. Right, but we're going to end this episode here. So if you did enjoy the episode, please do comment, rate, subscribe. And um, folks, I'll see you next time. Try for